Hello, today I'd like to review the new Barry Award winning book, Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. So, Bridge to Terabithia tells the story of Jesse Ahrens, a boy who lives in the countryside in a rundown town near our country's capital of Washington, D.C., and Jesse Ahrens is a boy who has to grow up very quickly. His upbringing is, is pretty rough. His family doesn't have a lot of money. His father's not really in the picture. He has to go and find work outside of town to help his family make ends meet. And Jesse has a lot of responsibility on his shoulder. He has to wake up at the crack of dawn to help with chores, milk his cow, Miss Bessie, take care of his younger sister, be ridiculed by his older sisters. Speaking of his older sisters, his older sisters are completely horrible, the worst characters you're ever going to read about, horrible role models. Uh, anywho, the book starts right, the book starts prior to the start of fifth grade. Jesse Aarons is a 10-year-old boy, he's about to start fifth grade, and when he's not worrying about chores and helping out his family, he likes to train because he wants to become the fastest runner in fifth grade when school starts. And he also does something to escape reality. Just as he does later on in the book with something else, he likes to draw. And because his upbringing is so rough, he, he probably does that to escape reality for a bit. But prior to the start of fifth grade, a new family moves in next door. And they have a 10-year-old girl who's the same age as Jesse. And they become the best of friends. And uh, Leslie, she's she's uh, very different from Jesse Aaron's because her upbringing is pretty much the opposite of Jesse's because her parents are in the picture and they're very involved. They're pretty unconventional. They want her to address them by their first names and she doesn't have to worry about uh, doing chores to help out her family to make sure that they don't starve that day. And Leslie is a great character. She is a lass that goes by the beat of her own drum. She doesn't let society tell her what to do. They tell her, hey, you're not allowed to run with the boys. She says, screw you. And she becomes the fastest runner in the fifth grade. And she's, she's very different from Jesse because she has a lot of courage. She goes and does certain things that Jesse Aarons wouldn't do. But these two cats are peas and carrots. And it was really enjoyable to see their friendship. It's so sweet and innocent. And Seeing these two escape reality, escape the hard, hard, hardships of childhood because children go through hardships, bullying, problems at home. They escape these problems by creating a magical place where they're rulers, where they're kings and queens. And the book was very sweet. I absolutely adored it. The only con I had with the book was that I really enjoyed one aspect of it and I wanted to read more and more of it. but. It had to end somewhere, and it's less than 200 pages, so I, unfortunately I couldn't get that. But it's not really a con, because what I read was really enjoyable, and I really enjoyed the book. I definitely recommend y'all go and watch go, y'all go and watch it, y'all go and read it. Well, after you read it, you can watch the Disney adaptation, or the one they made in the 80s, by the one PBS made in the 1980s. Uh, I give Bridge to Terabithia 3.5 out of 5 stars. Thank you for watching.